Hello guys, today I'll show you how to replace your hard drive on this laptop here, it's HP Envy. Um, I'll link up the uh, model number in the video shortly after I figure out what it is. I forgot which one this is, but this is an HP NV. It's a 17 inch screen. And uh, we'll start with uh, removing these screws here. You can see there's one here, 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 all around. And then we'll remove this cover. Uh, the screws are T... T5, Torx 5 type. Like that. And then just remove. So I'll remove them all and be back. Okay, so we remove these screws here. You can see the these ones here. Basically, that's the front of the laptop. They are the short ones. And then all the other ones are the long ones, and they are the same length all around here. Just the front ones are the long ones. All right, so now you want to go ahead and try to start prying. So usually the corners are good. Once you pull this out, you hit a click. And then you want to go around. Basically, like so. It's probably better to use a, at this point, use a plastic one to avoid any electrical uh, short shorting any circuits in there. It seems to be there is a screw right here, and there will be another one here. Sometimes there is another one here. So, we'll start with this here, and then we'll remove the whole thing together. You can see there is a screw over there. It's a normal cross there. and then we will take this side as well. And the only problem is that you can see the plastic here is the sticky stuff is getting separated from the rubber bar, but we can glue this back together. Um, it should stick to itself again. You can hear it clicking, that means it is off. So let's go ahead and uh, remove this baby. Oh, so there is a wire. There is a wire. There it is. And it happens to be the hard drive wire. So what we want to do is we don't want to break it. Uh, let's see, these things. Okay, so uh, you can see the wire here, the hard drive wire, was sitting in here. So this is like kind of a clip. So when you put it back, you want to slide it in there first, you know, like, like so. You want to put it in there and push it in, and then you push this clip back in. All the way to the bottom, and it clips back in. But the hard drive is mounted on the cover on this laptop, which is very strange. And to be honest with you, 
Doesn't seem right. It should have stayed here where it's supposed to be, not here. But maybe the glue got it stuck. Something, yeah. So it should have uh, came off of the thing and stayed here. So now when you want to put it back, all you have to do is basically put this back here. to do is we need to uh, take this hard drive off so it looks like this is sitting on it like that just remember the orientation and this is basically a uh, slide like this and there you go this is your old hard drive it's a SATA drive um, almost all laptops right now are SATA um, Apple and whatnot, the new ones are just flash, like it's a uh, soldered on the chip usually, that's why you, you cannot upgrade it later on once you order an Apple. Uh, some new computers, there it would be like a PCI uh, type of uh, uh, SSD, solid state drive, but this is not a solid state drive, it's a normal hard drive. That uh, rotates at 7200 RPM with one terabyte capacity. The solid state drive is extremely faster and quieter and doesn't heat up. Nothing like that. So I snagged this on uh, Black, Day, Black uh, Friday deal. It's a 1 giga 860 EVO, 1 terabyte. Uh, 1 terabyte, sorry. And it's SSD. This is a very well known hard drive. So what you do is you get the hard drive, you will need a USB 3.2 SATA adapter, you hook it up, you open your computer, you hook it up to your USB drive, uh, ignore any message that pops up on your computer, and then you install um, Samsung Magician uh, software, but you want to install the migration software, not the actual hard drive software, the migration migration one. You just go to Google and type Samsung migration, you know, magician migration, whatever you'll find it. It's weird, very easy. You install it and then you click uh, through the menu, you open it up and it'll show you your source hard drive. Uh, I had a C drive and a D drive. A D drive was for the, the computer files where you want to, if you want to re, re, restore it to factory settings, it'll read from the D drive and reformat the C drive bring it back to stock basically. So it copied the C and D in the same format onto one terabyte because the same drives, both drives are the same size. You can't go from one terabyte down to half of it or something. It has to be the same size, as far as I know, or bigger. So nonetheless, uh, you select your destination, which it'll, it'll automatically detect this. And then you can select how much C drive you want and it'll be, the rest will be the D drive and it'll copy everything down. It takes about an hour. Depends how fast your computer, could be more, could be less. But after that, it'll be done. You shut down your computer and you hook up this thing. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So you can see the notches here when you wanna put your new hard drive, you wanna make sure the notches match. It won't go this way, it'll go only one way, like that. So once we figure out it matches this way, let's go ahead and put the skin back so as you see these go into the uh, holes here those are screws that holds the hard drive in caddies in some other computers this doesn't have a caddy it just has a semi caddy uh, no screws necessary so you can see it's slotting in no problems so, and then we take the other one here put it like that and then this one here Put it like this, and as you can see, now we put the put the back. And 
not sure we want to force it in if it's not going in. Okay, make sure this is back in place. Now let's go ahead and put this in position where it's supposed to be. All right, so now let's go ahead and <coughs> we can uh, fire up the computer and see, you know, every, making sure everything working fine. You don't have to assemble it right now, but make sure when you, uh, wherever you want to put it down, there's no metal down here, so it won't shortcut your circuit. So it's okay to keep it like this. That's fine. For just testing purposes, we want to make sure everything is good. All right, so uh, we powered up the computer, uh, made sure everything is working. Everything looks the same like it used to, uh, but the only thing that's not the same is the performance. Now it's really fast, it's super fast. Um, complete boot, uh, I have a lot of stuff on this thing completely until I like, I even lost it logging and everything. It's probably, it's around less than 20 seconds, around 19 seconds taking the reaction time and whatnot. It's really fast. So, yeah. So now we put the, the cover back. This, if there is dust or whatnot, what just clean it up. Here it looks clean. If you have a duster, you know, compressed air, you just blow it out. But this is a pretty clean, no issues there. Um, if you want to upgrade the memory, uh, this is a chance. These are the memories here. I have eight gigs and eight gigs, so 16 gigs total. And the battery is here. You can see there's one screw here, one here, one here, one here. That's the battery. Actually, it's this, this cable, I think, come from the side here. So let's go ahead and install this back. Um, just make sure all the holes are exposed again. Sometimes things move around. So let's go ahead and put this back. <coughs> so I'm gonna let's go ahead and press on these uh, flips. So now let's go ahead and Start screwing these back. You remember this one here? It's already in. So you wanna when you wanna put a screw <clears throat> anytime, you wanna rotate counterclockwise till you hear a click. Then you put then you go in. So this way you don't cross thread. Um, the stuff. And let's put back the other ones. You can start with the long ones. Same idea. Go backwards, then clockwise. You don't have to tighten it right away. I like keep it a little bit loose so we can uh, make sure the cover sits just fine. That's it. Just uh, put this back. You might have to re-glue some parts here, but that's about it. Everything will be fine. And you're all set. Thank you very much.